Good evening, everybody. I have a simple question for you. Were you happy to get up this morning? You were happy to get up this morning. I was very happy to get up this morning. Why? Because I slept in Lyon. I love Lyon. I slept in a very good bed, and I love good beds. I slept alone, and I like sleeping alone. Oh, sorry, there is part of the sentence which is wrong. Really, I slept alone, but I don't like to sleep alone. I tell you why. It's important that I precise that, because my wife is in that room, so I have to be careful. <laughs> so, I hope you were happy this morning, too. My happiness depends on me and on you, because I will experience happiness through the interaction that we will have together, and we have already it. Happiness, I will leave it in my heart, not in my head. Happiness is in the heart, not in the head. We may have the idea of being happy in the head, but we can only experience happiness in the heart. So the million dollar and everlasting question is, what makes us happy? What is going to make me happier at the end of the day than I was this morning? Happier tomorrow than I am today? And happy until the end of my days? We are the only living creatures who are able to ask ourselves this question. Unfortunately for us, the answer is not obvious at all. But let's have a go. We may be the last on the food chain, the most sophisticated being, but we have something very special. We have to look around us at plants, trees, and animals. We can do that. Why? Because they don't seem to be doing too badly. Let's have a look at plants. How does a plant grow? It starts with a simple seed. Everything it needs is inside, but nothing is visible. But the seed alone is not enough. It needs earth to grow. But the earth alone is not enough. It needs water. But water alone is not enough. It needs sun. But sun on its own is not enough. It needs air. How does a plant grow naturally? But I am forgetting something. Something is missing. Our oldest companion, it is everywhere with us, but we never have enough of it. Time. We can't rush time. I am going to tell you a story about a Chinese farmer. He came home to his wife and children one evening and told them his good news. I help the rice to grow five centimeters more in one day by pulling on each stalk. The day after, he returned to his rice field to find his crops dead. What is the moral of this story? 
I love China. I love the Chinese people, the Chinese culture, and also the Mandarin Chinese language. So I apologize if I use tonight's opportunity to teach you a bit Chinese. You will see it's very simple. First, I would like to teach you two typical Chinese expressions which are very significant regarding time. The first one is Man Man Lai. Man Man Lai, could you repeat? Man, 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 oh, there is Chinese people in the room. <laughs> man Man Lai. Man means slow, slowly. What does man man mean? Very slowly. It's not difficult, you see? Very slowly, man man. Lai means to come. So you have to repeat. Do not be afraid to be ridiculous when you speak Chinese. You have just to accentuate, exaggerate all the tones. Man man lai. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. So that means. That means. Take it very slowly. It will not happen overnight. It will not happen overnight. The Chinese people, they like to put man man before several action verbs. I give you an example. Man man, chi. Chi means to eat. So if you eat slowly, the food will feed you. Man man xiang, xiang means to think. If you think slowly, you will think well. Man man shuo, shuo means to speak. If you speak slowly, you will speak better. The second Chinese expression is yi pu yi pu. Could you repeat, please? Fantastic. Yi means one. Pu means step. Yi pu yi pu means fantastic. You are very clever students. Probably teachers also. Okay. Ipu ipu means step by step, one step at a time. Do it progressively. So, what is the moral of this story? Be patient. It will happen, but you have to take it very slowly, one step at a time, day by day. And if you are patient and take a step every day, the very small seed will become a big tree. So, how, what advice can we take from plants in order to grow naturally? First, plant your seed where you want to grow. Second, Feed your seed from the earth. That means learn lessons from your experience. Live the very moment you are present in. Second, give you some space to grow, create a good atmosphere. Feed yourself with your essentials, love, the light of consciousness. But our work is not finished there. We have to get rid of the weeds. That is to say, we have to learn lessons from our mistakes. And once we have decided to get rid of them, Forget about them. This is the lesson we can take from plants. Which lesson can we take from animals? I have a friend called Yves Richez who likes to compare us to cheetahs. I, I precise, cheetahs is guépard in French. So let's have a look at a cheetah. Do you know how fast a cheetah can run? 
110 km per hour, give or take. Okay? Could you experience that in a zoo? Watching a cheetah in a cage? Never. You can't. Why? Because the cheetah has not got what it needs. It has not got the space to run. So we have to open the cage. But if we open the cage, it is not enough. The cheetah will go out, but will not run at 110. It needs to have a prey. And as soon as you give a cheetah the space to run and a prey to motivate it, instinctively, the cheetah will run at 110 km per hour. We may be bringing it back to us. We may be like a cheetah in a cage. We can't develop our potential without leaving something. We can't develop our potential without questioning our beliefs, our habits, our certainties. We have to spread our wings and not be afraid to fly to other parts. And we need to have a goal, a project, a mission which gives meaning to our flight. That is the lesson we can take from animals. But as human beings, we have something more than a big tree or even a cheetah. We are able, able to understand, able to love, able to create, able to perform. And we have the freedom to do so. Because unlike animals, we are not controlled by instincts. As human beings, we are all similar. But that is to say that whoever we are, our happiness depends on the way we develop these capabilities. But as human beings, we are all unique. So we have to tailor happiness to our uniqueness to exploit our individual talents and potential. I agree with Nietzsche when he said, become who you are. But I might be a little bit more ambitious. And I would say, become everything you can be. This begs the question, what can exactly can be? What can I be exactly? So what is my li? Li it is the equivalent of potential in Chinese. What is my li? And I think there are three ways to answer that question. The first one is, What am I the most proud of in my life today? What am I the most proud of in my life today? 90% of the people I question answer their families. This is understandable. But my job is not to help people to be first happier in the families they have, but first in the jobs they do. So the question could be, um, what am I the most proud of in my work? If I can't find an answer, I can ask myself the second one. What do I do well, effortlessly, and without having learned to do it? What do I do well, effortlessly, and without having learned to do it? If you can't answer that question, be sure that people around you can answer it for you. 
So you may ask yourself the third question. What do people approach me for? What do people approach me for? If I can leave you with three pieces of advice to conclude. The first one could be learn what you love and understand what you learn. Learn what you love and understand what you learn. The second one could be do what you love with the people you love. Do what you love with the people you love. If you don't do what you love, try to love what you do. If you don't love, you don't work with the people you love, try to love the people you work with. If you can't do any of that, change job. <laughs> and the third one, be patient and take a step every day. So the last conclusion, we can do it together, please. You are now able to do that. First one is? Fantastic. And the second one is? Fantastic. I thank you very much because thanks to you, I am a bit happier now than I was 10 minutes ago. Thank you very much.